Hey, you are never too far gone. I am Play Eruption, and we are back in the One Region Challenge in the Long Dark. So, like I explained last time, I am stuck in the uh, the Forsaken Airfield. I am not allowed to leave this region, no matter what. Uh, and it's just how many days can I survive in this region? That is the whole. That's the whole premises of the of the challenge. So we we spawn in like the middle of a forest and we walk to the airfield we still have to search the airfield and then probably search some houses surrounding the airfield there's a couple oddball houses and besides that that <laughs> that's really all the loot i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to do my best to fish and hunt to try to survive and i don't know why the aurora is still going on it's like mid-morning and it's still just carrying on so i'm not 100 percent sure there that is a box of bullets it is a darn shame i do not have a pistol to shoot them with but maybe i can find one a gun would really make this really easy. I mean, I technically still have a bow, but, I mean, oh, there's a pipe bar. That's nice. I need that to open a locker. A uh, gun would sure be nice. I wonder if the Aurora is, like, glitched. It is, like, almost, like, mid to late morning, and the Aurora is still going on. That, that has to be a glitch, right? Okay, well, that is the majority of the hangar search. Everything on the upper levels, I'm pretty sure I've searched. I might check around the lower levels, but I need to repair some gear. I found some stuff I want to get... I don't have a lot of clothing, so I want to get the best best clothes on I have, and then uh, um, repair the ones that I need. Okay, I'm still slowly freezing to death inside the hangars, but I'm pretty sure if I get... Oh, I haven't searched this yet. I'm pretty sure if I get inside a plane, I'm actually going to be okay. So I'll hop in a plane, and I'll repair some clothing, and hopefully be warm enough to at least stand outside the hangar, like stand out in the hangar without freezing. But Okay, well, every piece of clothing I have on is very high quality. I just... Um, don't have enough of it to stay warm. Will I warm up outside now? No, I'm still... I gotta find more clothes somewhere. I'm pretty sure I searched most of this. I might check around the lower levels, but there are other buildings and a lot of planes around. outside on the runway that I don't think I've searched yet. So I'm gonna go check those. Maybe find uh, some clothes there, I hope. I don't like freezing. Is that a hacksaw? Oh, that's right. I left one there. Okay, we're gonna drop this so we don't smell. We're gonna go check some of the uh, planes outside, helicopters outside. I'm pretty sure I checked the buildings next to it, but I'm going to check outside and make sure I did not miss any. And then maybe try to focus on getting some arrows. Maybe. Oh, I have a pry bar. I can open trunks now. Insomnia. What, what does that mean? Um, wait. What? Your sleep is trailed and rest is frequently interrupted. Wait, 30, 18 to 36 hours. Herbal tea. Do I have herbal tea? I don't. Maybe I can find some herbal tea. Okay, the game sound seems a little broken. It just keeps sounding like I'm searching stuff, even though I'm not searching anything. That, that is okay, I'm sure. We have bunnies right here. I could technically kill bunnies with rocks and always have food. Technically. I don't think I have any now, do I? No. Okay, this is much nicer. We can see our hand in front of our face. I'm pretty sure that's the little, like, uh, trailer thingy-majabber out there that I searched. Have I searched the plane on the runway? I'm pretty sure there were wolves around the plane on the runway. I don't know if I ever searched that. So I'm going to go in an airplane. I'm probably going to sleep for an hour or so. And then I'm going to go check that plane by the runway. After that, I need to find out where the uh, cabins are or whatever they are. Uh, we'll sleep for two hours. And start making my way towards them and search them. And once I search, like the, I think there's only one or two cabins. Once I search them, that's everything searched on the airfield that I know of. Unless there's something I don't know of. But uh, that's like, that's it. What I find after that, that's what I got in this run. Which, honestly, I've been able to find quite a bit of food. I've never been able to find... I tried to look up, like, how you kind of starve yourself throughout the day. I never really found anything on that. The best way I can... The best I've been able to figure out is that you basically you just eat the bare minimum amount of calories. So you regenerate your health overnight. But throughout the day, you have no calories and you just starve. That, that's the principle is how I understand it. I've never tried it, so I'm going to be experimenting with that so I can save some calories. Boy, I've got a lot of clothes in here that I can't wear. Doesn't look like there's a ton out here. Piece of coal, some accelerant. I don't need that paint. Firewood bin, I guess I could grab. No, nothing in there. Let's check that plane and head back and sleep for the night. You know, I don't see any wolves out here, which it it's, it's kind of mixed feelings. Because when I first came here, I think I saw, oh, probably five to ten wolves just surrounding the airfield. And now I don't see any of them. So, it's good that I don't see them, but at the same time, where are those little buggers? I know they're somewhere. And this plane had literally nothing in it. I need to find some rocks so I can try to kill some bunnies. Because that would be a great way to live on just, like, bunnies. Okay, now I'm at 800 calories. So, technically speaking, 
I should regenerate as I sleep throughout the night and then be hungry in the morning, which I think is the, gonna be the strategy here when I ration out food. Unless I wanna try to go for the well-fed perk. But I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to do that. And I guess I'll try this. So I'm basically just gonna starve myself out today. That, that's kind of the plan. And we're gonna see if I can, as long as my, as long as from day to day, I can every morning wake up with full health. That is technically the plan. So I think I did 800 calories the first night. So. We'll keep track of that as 800 calories. And now let's go to those cabins. Okay, so I looked up a map of this so I know exactly where I'm going. Make sure it's not absolutely treacherous outside. And it's incredibly foggy again. Is it always foggy here? Well, we might just roll with it today. Um, I got all the food I got, or all the food I'm gonna have. Let's, so I'm pretty sure according to the map, I need to head this way. I'm gonna find a road and that'll take me to a cabin. And I think there's actually another cabin. There's two places on this map. But there's also some chances for some bunkers to spawn. So searching for bunkers would probably be absolutely huge. Okay, so I just now began starving at whatever very very early in the morning. So I'll see how much... If my health starts draining like really quickly, I might bail out on this plan and just try to eat enough. But ideally, if I could just eat... Oh my goodness, this is the treacherous downhill. If I could just eat at night and always have full health in the morning, that's kind of the plan, I think. But we'll see. Maybe the game penalizes you if you starve for too long, you like start going foggy or something, and they make you eat. If that's the case, at least I tried. I oh, yeah, yeah, nobody's ever happy. This is the road. Perfect, perfect. I'm right where I want to be. I think I can make a fire in here and sleep for an hour to warm up a little bit. So I know flares stop wolves and bears. Do they stop moose? See, I, I don't know if I want to try to find out, you know? Like, I'd like to know ahead of time or not know at all. Let's go an hour... That'll start putting off some heat. Is that actually not warm enough to keep me alive if I try to sleep here? Are you kidding me? My goodness, this game is brutal. That was a lot of work to just get a little heat back. I really hope the cabin I'm going to has like a couple winter coats just stacked on top of each other or something. Wait a sec, that is a helicopter. Oh, you crash landed. That's not good. Maybe they have a coat. Oh, they got a body. Okay, anybody else to search or anything else here? I don't think so. We're gonna keep going. So that is the cabin up there on the hill. I am currently trying to take a shortcut. The road kind of bends around to the left and comes back. I'm kind of just trying to beeline it, honestly. It actually looks like the road curves back there. I'm just gonna keep beelining it up this way. Oh, I'm no longer suffering, suffering from insomnia. How about that? Of course, that wasn't really that big of a problem at the moment because I'm currently freezing to death, but... I mean, hey, you gotta take the wins where you get them, even if they're little wins. And we made it alive. Barely, but alive. Anything good out here I can grab? That is a bear that I think I cut. He was probably over there, and I probably cut that uh, extra lap out and probably dodged him completely. So that was a very good call. I am warming up in here. Are you kidding me? I don't even have a fire going. <gasps> Clothes. Those are pants, but they're something. Coat, coat, coat. Dang it. There's an upstairs. Coat, 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 coat. Give me coat. These are amazing boots. And that's it. Well, I mean, you know, for the time being, I think I'm going to try... Oh, those are only 42%. Don't tell me that's going to make me sick. Okay, I'm fine. I think I'm going to try stay above starving and, like, try to actually get enough food to get the weight bonus. Might be risky, but the amount of rabbits I have seen and the amount of cattails I have seen... I already have 40 cattails, and I probably have easily seen a ton more. I might actually try to just eat enough to stay healthy... Cause I feel, and, and not to mention I have all this cooking stuff now that I can, I actually should make some of those while I, while I got the fire going. My cooking skill isn't good enough. Okay, well I can't quite do that yet then. Porridges though, I can make porridge. Pick that up, we're gonna make some oatmeal. Or porridge, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, you can be stupid and still make oatmeal. That's what this game has taught me. So the other cabin, you can kinda just barely see it. It's right there. That's probably where I'm going to try to go to next. I'll probably get off this mountain. I don't know if I can jump off a cliff. I may have to backtrack a little bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had an absolute blast making it. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. And if you have something you want me to play, please post it in the comments so I can take a look at it. But remember, love runs the world. So don't forget to run the world.